um, people within the industry, suppliers, here are tags which you can easily program to any ID you like. So the two are not compatible. So I think it's, it, you know, it's the usual thing. It's a money thing. Um, any other questions? Yes, sir. Um, I have two different models of Compact Flash Reader, but yes, they are available um, for both. I actually, the ones I build and sell are USB-based external boxes with bigger antennas. Um, and you'll probably find there are other manufacturers who are using the same components that my software would be compatible with, and I would be happy if anyone comes across one, I'll be happy to add them to the list on the site. I don't build them to make money, I build them because they're hard to find. Um, and I can only get the components in the UK. So if I'm going to build one, I might as well build 10. You know. Yes, sir? Um, do I have any tools for permanently disabling RFID chips? I don't, but I did write um, a little program which basically hides my Q5. So it's called Q5 Stealth. Uh, Wrong tag. So that's basically programmed it into a completely nonsensical mode. So if I try and scan it, it's not going to read. So it's not completely hidden, but it's currently disabled. Yeah. Any more questions? <laughs> Is there any easier way you can disable your passport chip at, or permanently disable it? Yeah. <laughs> you can whack it in a microwave. That causes a little bubble, which is um, probably will be spotted as you cross the border. Having a broken chip should not stop you crossing the border. It actually says that in the standard. Um, however, if you, and probably what will happen is they'll replace it the first time. If they catch you doing it a second time, they might start to get suspicious and you'll have to pay to replace it yourself. And third time, they may take further action. You know, passport doesn't belong to you generally. It belongs to the state. Um, I've heard a, a sharp rap with the heel of a shoe works quite well. Um, alternatively, you know, the, the tinfoil hat brigade got this one right. You can just wrap it up in tinfoil and it'll be fine. Okay, I think we'll wrap it up there, so thank you.